We've got two MGTCs with us now. They're a great favourite of ours, actually, because they still are essentially pre-war in character. Basically, they look the same as the TA and T, uh, TB, you know, the pre-war models. This car is quite remarkable. It's had two owners from new since 1946. It's had a major rebuild. It's had an engine rebuild. It's still running in. It's had new wings. It's had new trim, weather equipment, and uh, the, the all-important body frame. So a lot of money's been spent on this car, actually, a huge amount, considerably more than we're asking for it. Of course, as with all MGs, uh, they do have the benefit of great cab support, and uh, spares, of course, are easier than they ever were. There are so many specialists you now. All the bright has been replated. got some preparation work to do as she's only just arrived but uh, we'll be on with that next week. The pale grey actually is not incorrect. People say oh that's wrong. On the early cars it was not black or body colour it was in fact this light grey. The engine of course being painted grey is right. The interior has been done very nicely. Good quality hide. Mm. Matching Dunlop tyres all the way round. And the original registration number as well. Indicators up here, which is an excellent idea, they're easily visible. And uh, the correct steering wheel, which is the Blue Mills type. Oh, it's got a beautiful new hood. Yeah, it is, the hood. The with the double, everything, um, everything is new. But it's got the double windows in the back of the... Yes, it is. Absolutely right. She's lovely. Yeah. And that sequoia cream is the colour. It's actually an NG colour of the period. On the video, it looks lighter, but it, yeah, is, it is a deep cream. cream. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's lovely. So that's a, one of the trio of T-series we've got from over this current book. And we've got the... Yeah, we've got the TD over there, she's 1953, early TC, 46, and the green car over on the lift, she's 1948, and that is in concourse condition throughout.